All right, hello, Brian Todd here, all things archery and shooting, and we're in part two of this range review of this Bear Ossible Longbow. Just a quick retake. This, um, this is a Bear Ossible 62-inch AMO length. It's got 28-inch draw at 60 pounds, and my draw length of 29 and a half inch, I'm pulling 64 pounds. We're going to be checking this bow against the chronograph today, and also on the targets at the back here, we're we'll shooting two arrows. First arrow is going to be eight grains per pound of draw weight. It's going to be these carbon shafts. These come in right about 505 grains. It gets roughly eight grains per pound of draw weight. Remember, this is a 64 pound bow. And then we got some heavyweight shafts, 640 grains, also carbon. We'll be shooting out of this bow here. We're going to compare the velocity of both, okay? All right, without further ado, let's get started. First, we'll do the chronograph session. We'll shoot arrows across this. I'll shoot five arrows. And of those five arrows, I'll throw out the high and the low, leaving three remaining, and average those three for the blossom. Let's get started. Okay, first is going to be these 400 grain carbon shafts. I weigh 505 grain seats. It's eight grains per pound of draw weight. First arrow. Second arrow, 187, third arrow, 199, fourth arrow, 201. Fifth and final arrow. 196. Okay, that's with a 500 grain shaft. 505. Now we're going to shoot these 640 grain carbon arrows. These are a 340 carbon arrow. Uh, they weigh 640 grains, and that's about um, 10 grains per pound of draw weight. Let's reset this and have at it, okay? First arrow. 179. Second arrow. 171. Third arrow. 170. Fourth arrow. 172. Fifth and final arrow. 171. Okay. All right, we're going to be shooting three arrows now for accuracy wise. See how it shoots. Aiming for that blue spot right there. These are 640 grain arrows. I'm going to step off to my 20 yard mark and send three arrows down and see how it does. Here we go. Is shooting high and to the right. I've got three, about three inches high and 
probably three inches to the left. Let's go ahead and reshoot that again. Let me get my side adjusted and try that again. That's about less than two inches there. Here we go. Aim for the same blue spot. Okay, three more arrows, 20 yards. Okay, it's a little bit better. Still a little bit high, but they're all within the kill zone at 20 yards. That's probably three and a half inch group. I gotta tell you, it's a lot of bow for me. Pulling 64 pounds, I'm not used to. It's actually bitten me, see that? <laughs> so, um, I'm not sure how that happened, but it actually bit me on my hand there. Anyway, let's try this, let's try this same shoot now at 30 yards, okay? 30 yards, here we go. That's 30 yards. Again, about three and a half inch group, but this one is over about four inches and up about two inches. So, still not a bad group. I'll just give a couple shots of my uh, 3D target here, then we'll see how that works out. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put three more arrows on this bear target, this 3D target. i got to be honest with you, this 64 pound bow, it's Quite a bit more than used to shoot. I shoot around a 51 to 53 pound bow. That extra 10 pounds, boy, that's a lot, that's a lot of hauling right there. Let me tell you. But anyway, we'll get we'll get through this. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and put three arrows on this black bear target, and we'll at 20 yards. We'll put three more at 30 yards and see how it does. All right, here we go. Okay, 20 yards, same three and a half inch group, is still shooting high though. Let's try 30 yards.
Okay. Well, I got two almost stacked on top of each other, one about two and a half inches low at 30 yards. Not so bad. I think my biggest issue with this bow, accuracy wise, is this weight. I'm not used to that 64 pound weight. I find myself when I come into full draw that my arms shake a little bit. So I'm definitely over bowed on this. Okay. But so far, the bow's smooth shooting. I don't have any recoil or any hand shock. It's really good. Except for it. That leather, I guess, wore a blister on my on my hand. I've been I've been shooting this bow for a while now. I just not used to it. But the first time I had a bow wear a blister on my hand. Anyway, let's get a couple more shots of me um, shooting the bow, and you can get a look at the tiller of the bow and stuff. And we'll go inside and give my final thoughts on the bow, and we'll put it through my what I, what I think about the bow. So what's that? Probably three inches here, and if you add that flyer and push it out to about four and a half inches to twenty yards. Let's head inside. We'll um, do some. Um, I'll give my final thoughts on this very awesome bow and we'll wrap this on video review up. Okay, here we go.